So here we have Izzy walking, and she's nice and straight, and Amy's following the longitudinal motion, and she turns her from the outside rein. She doesn't pull on the inside, so that as a result, the horse stays in balance, working equally on all four legs. And she's on the arc of the circle right there. She, okay, she's doing a little quarter turn to the right to prove that she could turn from the outside rein. Okay. So the walk could use more oomph, right? But we don't, we don't care about, you know, we, it's really hard to get everything all at once. Yeah. So, so we train and add little pieces as we go, okay? You know, like, if you're just learning how to keep the horse straight, it's hard to get the oomph at the same time because she's, it's hard for her to accept being straight. Yeah. So we, so, <clears throat> so we just gradually add pieces. So yes, we want it all, but it's better to get, get in pieces and build. So let's go ahead. So we, get, so we open our fingers and we let her chew the reins out of your hands. And even when she's chewing the reins out of the hands, and then you see how the walk gets so much bigger. That, I call it unraveling. So let's just bring her back up and do it again. And this time when you do it, see ideally when the horse stretches, it should still be in a frame. So, so this is lovely, okay? So let her go down more slowly and try to keep her little tucked in. Here? Yeah, let her go down. There, try to just still feel both sides of the bit. Yeah, so it's hard to, so, right. So, so when the horse is stretching, you're still supposed to be on contact. So you can still control the shoulders and keep her straight and, and everything else. I've tried to do that. What? Well, a lot of people think stretching is just throwing the horse away. It's not. So, so let's go ahead and let her go down again. Obviously, it's easier to, to stretch her out on a straight line than on a circle. Right. So the left rein keeps her straight. So it's a little hard to see that because it was a straight line. Okay. So, but just say you're in the horse show. Just let her go out. That's nice. And then your outside rank keeps her straight. We do that we walk across the diagonal. Yep. And then I should just have a very light, like right here I have some contact. A very light outside rain mm -hmm. and a little and a cautious outside leg. In okay, case she tries to veer left, right? Because she wants to Throw the shoulder out. I think I wrote that one better than I did the previous one. Right. Very good. So we have down and round, which is this would be down and round and a little deep, but that's okay. And then we have down and out where the nose goes out. So you know, and then we need to know which to train and when, you know. Right, so you see that that was classic. You dropped the connection and she brought her head up. You know, so what? We're just we're just talking. <laughs> yeah, I do that because I'm, I'm so used to going, oh, okay, stretch. And that's not a stretch. That's throwing the horse away. So, considering the fact that stretching is double points in most of the tests. You can make or break a test with your free walk and your stretchy circle. And it's, and it's a great thing to do because it teaches you how to follow the connection with elastic elbows. Because they have to be pretty damn elastic to ride and keep contact with a six foot rein as compared to a two foot rein, right? Which I call slop riding which I'm an expert. Now what's really, really nice is just how soft and supple she is the whole time and no rooting. And the reason she doesn't root is because she's been trained to back off of the bit and not grab the bit. Mm -hmm. <clears throat>